Today we have an exclusive interview with David Vellante, co-founder and CEO of Silicon Angle and co-host of The Cube. He's going to be giving us an inside look and we'll dive deep into the world of AI, the IPO market, and so much more on this episode of Taking Stock. So let's start by talking about Silicon Angle and The Cube. For our viewers who might not know, tell me more about it. So John Furrier, my business partner, and I started the Cube and Silicon Angle in 2010. We have five businesses. We have Silicon Angle, yeah. which is the publishing arm. We have digital TV, which is the Cube. We go to events, we extract the signal from the noise. That's the ESPN <laughs> of tech we're known by. We have a research business called the Cube Research. So it's market analysis and we look at trends and spending patterns. We also have a platform business, so a software platform business for creators to take content. You guys know a little bit about creating content yeah. and putting it out into, into the social media world. And we have the Cube AI, which is our co-pilot. Now, AI in tech, that's your wheelhouse. Tell us more about the biggest trends that we're seeing in the sector, the biggest market movers. Well, you know, Trinity, the, the thing that people talk about all the time is AI and you hear the hype of AI, but there's still the macro out there. And when you look at spending, Spending is still, there's a lot of headwinds right now that the AI tailwind is blowing through, but you know, IT spending will probably grow somewhere in the three to three and a half percent this year. So, but the big trend of course is AI and it's people talk about the picks and the shovels, which is like Nvidia and Broadcom, and, but it's extending. That, that AI trade is extending beyond just the silicon layer. It's getting into OEMs like Dell and HPE and IBM and software companies like Adobe. So these are, these are good trends beyond what, you know, people are talking about the Magnificent Seven, sometimes now they're calling it the Mag Four. So we're seeing that AI trend, that trade really broaden, and that's a good sign. And speaking of trends, what tech earnings, they're coming out shortly, what do you anticipate? Well, the big thing everybody's watching is, is the AI monetization. So will the cloud, the big three hyperscalers in the US, will they actually show continued growth, uh, AWS, showed a little bit of accelerated growth. Uh, people are watching Azure and Microsoft to see, and Microsoft gives guidance on you know, what their co-pilots do and what their AI revenue does. But you know, when these waves happen, the new technology trend, which now is AI, is never big enough to offset the, the, the stasis or decline in the existing legacy businesses. And so sometimes it just takes time to, to, to map that out, and I think we're seeing companies like IBM starting to do much better. So the existing data center businesses are doing really, really well as our SaaS businesses. So we would expect that, you know, compares are, are much easier this time around than they were last year. So, you know, I, I would expect earnings are going to continue to, to meet expectations. Now, whether or not the guidance goes up, I think CFOs are pretty conservative these days because of that macro that I mentioned earlier. Now the IPO market, what do you think investors can anticipate for the rest of the year and 2025? Well, as you know, in 2023, the IPO market was pretty much shut down. I think the Reddit IPO was giving people a lot of hope. It's done pretty well and some others. Which was here just the other day, That's right. you know, at the exchange. Yeah, and that had, I mean, the, the reaction was fantastic. I think, you know, we're looking for, we just saw a rubric you know, filed, and so that's good. I mean, they're going to do it here as well. I'm, we're looking for companies like Databricks to go out. I think that'll be a really hot IPO, not unlike Snowflake was during the pandemic. Um, I, like, I've been expecting a company uh, called Arctic Wolf. I don't know if you know those guys. Uh, Minneapolis-based company, which, you know, middle of the country, be nice to see an IPO there. I think Cohesity, which is a competitor of Rubrik, is another possible IPO candidate. They just merged or acquired uh, a company called Veritas. So, you know, I think companies that get to a half a billion to a billion dollars in revenue are great candidates for IPO. And I'd like to, I think this year we're going to see not the floodgates open. I think that's probably more of a 25 trend, but okay. I think with some real positive trends uh, in 2024. Show season's coming up. I mean, what do you think we should look out for for that? Dell Tech World is coming up, IBM Think. Uh, we'll both be at RSA, yep. uh, HPE Discover comes up in June, Snowflake has their big user conference in June, as, do, as does Databricks. Yep. So there are no, this is the big show season from now until July 1st, it's just crazy. And then we have our own super cloud event in July. And you know, as you were saying, we're both going to be out for RSA, which is coming up in May. I mean, what is your rollout plan for that? I mean, it's one of the largest cybersecurity uh, events to happen in the world. And cybersecurity is also a very important topic, also on the forefront. So what can we expect? You know, every year we spend more 
on cybersecurity and we feel less safe mm -hmm. because the hackers are so competent and capable, we'll be there. We have a, a, a set in Moscone West and we'll be going broadcasting for four days. Stop by, love yeah. to have you on and yeah, yeah. see what you're seeing there. And um, you know, security is like the gift that keeps on giving because there's, it's an unsolvable problem. Mm -hmm. And so you're seeing now AI being injected into cyber, but as the, as the tongue in cheek goes, security has an identity crisis. Yeah. It's, it's really a challenge to keep organizations safe. Yeah, well, we'll be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me.